Welcome to a very quick tutorial on how to create your own survival game with Ultimate Survival. And in this tutorial we're going to add our own car, the Ultimate Car, or we can call it GTA Survival. No, no, let's stick with Ultimate Car. So let's get inside our car, go for a bit of a drive, and we can get out of our car and we're next to it again. So this is a car that you get with the Unity Standard Assets. I'm just going to show you quickly now what I will put in my scene. Basically all I did was went to Assets, Import Package and Vehicles. And if you don't have it here you can grab it from the Unity website but you should have it in Import Package and Vehicles. And then you'll see that it's in your Standard Assets in the Vehicles folder and then Car and I grabbed a Prefab. And then I, what I did was drop him in the scene here. Here's the car. So um, actually let's lift him up a little bit because his wheels in the ground. And then all I did was right clicked here and added a camera and I positioned my camera up high here and I rotated it just a tad so it's looking down positioned it until I was happy with how it was looking not too bad and then I changed the tag to main camera and then I turned him off and then here on my car, I added a box collider. So I changed that to 2, a 1, 1.5, and that one to be 2.7. Because I basically wanted my box collider to be around the doors, because I don't want to be getting in through the boot or getting through the hood or for the window. That was pretty good. Make sure that I don't have this trigger ticked because we're going to use some ultimate survival code for getting in and out of our car. So we turned off the car user control script and the car audio script. We'll turn these on later with some C sharp. I got here tag um, player. Doesn't really matter if you have him tag player or not. Leave it if you want to. And then I basically went to my special all my stuffs folder and there's my scripts. I made a script called ultimate car and then I dragged my ultimate car script onto this object and you see here we've got a vehicle camera uh, available here I'm going to show you how to do that in the script and when I just dragged him on because that's the camera that belongs on the script and that's it and basically you can have as many of these cars in your scene as you want. Let me grab my prefab. You can put these cars all over the place and each car is independent. So if I get into this one I'll be driving this car and if I get into this car I'll be driving this one and so on and so forth. Let's pop inside Mono Develop and have a look at this wonderful script that we're going to play with. So rather than me just sitting here typing out and you porting and copying, I'm just going to go through what I've already made. So at the start, I've added to the standard script the Unity standard assets, vehicle, car, because we're going to use some of that car functionality in our script. And because we're using Ultimate Survival, I've added the namespace Ultimate Survival, and I'm going to be doing some fancy stuff with the GUI, so I've added in the GUI system here. And this is the bit that I really enjoy using, the colon interactable object. And this is so that we can actually use this object and uh, click on it and interact with it. We'll see this later on down the bottom. So here's my private ball driving car, I'm saying it's false because when I start this script I'm saying we're not actually driving the car. And here's the car scripts that I showed you earlier that attach to the object. This is the car controller, here's the car user control and the car audio. So I named these, these are the names of the scripts so you can access them. And here's my variables, and I've just put a lowercase c. It's probably not best practice, but I don't know, it's a bit messy, so let's stick it in. Now here's my player game object and my crosshairs, because I noticed that uh, whenever I got into my car, I could still see the crosshairs that says open. That's probably a much better way of turning these off. I've turned off the GUI on the camera and I can still see it, so you guys in the comments explain to me what I'm doing wrong and let's make it a little bit more optimized 
there's the game object for the camera. Don't forget to include your serialized field so that you can actually interact with it in the editor and drag and drop your camera. Now when we start our script, we've got here turning the camera off just in case we accidentally left it on. And I'm setting in the values for my um, variables at the top here. This, for this is a car, it's the component of the car controller. This car's car user control script and this car's car audio script. This way you make sure that you're only interacting with the scripts that attach to the car that this script's sitting on. And this is what I'm saying about really messy, look at all of this. And this is just so I can grab the uh, crosshairs. And then we can turn them on and off. So, oh my, this is really bad, but there's got to be a better way of doing it. This is the ultimate survivals on Interact for the play event handler. I love it, basically passing now through the player who interacted to grab his collider so that I can use get in car and make sure that it's only the player who actually interacted with the car is going to get inside. Otherwise, if you were going to use some kind of trigger on the box collider and only checking for the player tag, then likely everyone who's around the who's standing inside that box collider would get imported into the car. You don't want to do that. You only want the person who actually clicked on the car to get in it. And then on our update, we're always checking just to see if somebody's going to try and get out of the car. All right, so here's our script for getting in the car. Now we're checking just a bit of error handling to make sure that the person who clicked on the car does have a player tag and that he's not already driving it. And now I'm sticking in the player because to make it easier to, to understand for later, this is the player. Stick him inside the car and turn him off. And when we're driving around, you're going to be sitting inside the car. And when you get out of the car, you'll be standing next to it. So you're not teleported miles away. You'll notice that when you um, start your game and you get in the car and then you pause and you go into the editor your your player object is now standing inside the car which we'll have a play event we can show you that in a second so let's go into one of the cars pause it and have a look and you'll see that the car which car did we get into this guy here car 2 and here's my male player inside the car so that's what I meant. Now we're turning on all the car scripts and we're turning off the crosshairs so that you don't see that open anymore. And we're saying yes we're driving the car. And there was another annoying issue that every time I got out of the car I could still hear the engine. So here in this little for each we're saying make sure that the car is not muted. And that's all the audio, all the audio sources that are under our car. And here's the get out of car script. So again, we're just making sure that you are driving the car and that you've pushed the R key. You can change that to whatever key you want. And here, this is why at the top we said Unity Standard Assets Vehicle Car because I'm now using the car controller move to put the handbrake and the cl and the, uh, the brake on. So foot brake and handbrake are now turned on, and our car, when we get out, won't go flying off. Now you could just not do this. And rely on the person to actually stop the car before they get out. Um, it's entirely up to you. Now we're turning off all the scripts for our car and turning off the camera, we're turning back our player and chucking him out of the car so he's standing next to it. And now we're saying on a ball, you're no longer driving the car. And because we turned off our crosshairs before, let's turn them back on so you, when you go up to the end of anything, you can still see the crosshair staying open. And because I was getting that annoying car engine still playing, I go through all of the audio sources of this car and I mute and turn them off. Alright guys, that basically was it. Very quick, simple script, making use of some of the uh, functionality that we've got with Ultimate Survival. Pop back in to our game and get into this car. Again, it's a lot of weird little things going on with the uh, standard asset. Obviously, I've done something a little bit wrong. Because I've always got the handbrake on, it seems. Oh. 
see here where I've got the open crosshairs. And when I get in, they're no longer there. But when I get out, they're there again. So guys, that was it. That was how to add some cars into your game. Very messy, very quick way of doing it. But I'm sure you guys can work out a much better way than I've done it. And guys, remember, if you do like it, click it. Until next time. If you want to see more on the Ultimate Survival series, click on the links on the left side of your screen. And if you like these videos and you want to see more of them, please click subscribe. It's in that big button that's down below. And there's next to it, there's a little magic bell. And when you click that bell, it tells you when there's a new video out. So cheers, thanks for all the support.